finished tour, you will share and experience the spirit and the history that is the Johnson Space Center. Welcome. To take any actions needed for crew safety and mission success. Gene Kranz was flight director for many of those historic missions. In the movie Apollo 13, Gene was played by actor Ed Harris. I had a Sadly, another group of Seven Oaks joined them on February 1st, 2003, when the space shuttle Columbia was lost 60 minutes before landing. The entire crew was killed in the explosion. We'll pause here for a moment to remember them. Three days after the tragedy... ...test unit for the Apollo program is that one. It's called Little Joe. It's got a It's pretty huge. That probably looks familiar. That is the Mercury rocket. That is what is propelled the Apollo missions into space. A bit of a big deal. So anyone who's seen all the Apollo footage, that's the thing you see that says United States on it. That is the engine. That is pretty insanely big. It's always that thing that attaches first. So there you go. That's a uh, Mercury F1 engine. That's pretty crazy. More of the Mercury. This is the J2 engine, the second stage of the launch. So these were really just to get it off the ground. It's so huge. That I'm standing right under it. Look at the other. See the top. So two engines. Stage one engine. Stage two engine. There's the inside of one of the engines. Look at that. There's a beast. And this is an assembled Mercury rocket. So I'm going to go walk up it. Let's see how long it takes. So there's all the engines connected. This. So I would reckon the two of them. It's pretty cool. This thing is huge. So this is the whole thing, all that stuff that was out there, this is it assembled like it would be on the launch pad. Well at least can they stand it up. So that's all the stage one launch stuff right there. So now we get into stage two. So that's the first stuff that drops off. This is stage two. More stuff. Saturn V was the, uh, the Apollo rocket, it was the Apollo 11. And then this is what kept him in space, that's the thrust and everything. So that's pretty cool. 
pretty neat. That's a long way. This is a big thing. You know? There you go. There's a bit of a glimpse inside. We'll head up there in a second. Let's keep going. All the way up to where they were held. The human portion. And there's that in there. There you go. That is a Saturn V rocket right there. It extends the entire length of this hangar. And this is not a small hangar. There you go. There's a look inside the rocket. So that little bit back there is the bit where they're staying. Right at the back is where they live. Not very comfortable, is it? But price you pay, I suppose. Even NASA, even NASA levels ranges. That's fantastic. Alan McGregor uses NASA gloves or something. I don't know, but there you go. Even NASA loves Rangers. That is an actual Mercury spacecraft. That thing is tiny. Poor John Glenn. My goodness. And that is the last Apollo Command module. That's from Apollo 17. There's some moon rocks. Look at that. That's pretty. There's some old rocks. And there's some moon dust. And there is all the elements that make up the soil and the moon. And a whole bunch of minerals that come out of the lunar soil. So we're in Skyland. Yes. He's doing something up there. I don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Not something. And that looks like a shower. Mm -hmm. That's a, a bike. Space bike. Space bike right there. And then this thing. And then the waste management. We all know what happens in there. There's the children. Yeah, that's where they sleep. And then right in the floor compartment. Body mass measurement device. All these sorts of things. Spinning around in space. And then all the way back. Let's get back to your spaceship.